What if we made a game out of cardboard boxes? Yeah, let's do it. Make a maze of cardboard boxes. What do you think? Hmm, not bad. But maybe a little too simple. Make it more complex. How's that? And here's an interesting news I believe a lot of you guys missed, even though we did mention it in our previous video where we talked about some cool stuff that is happening within the game industry, mentioning that Unity was back, but I kind of think a lot of you guys missed it and that's why we're making one dedicated video for it. And it's the fact that EA is definitely going full AI. And, and when I'm talking about full AI, they're not just doing like game experiences where you can play and then the AI would model the game in such a way where you don't have as much difficulty level or potentially, you know, just creating very tiny assets with this ea is going full ai and they've just demonstrated what the market is going to look like we already know that the gaming market is a billion dollar market and ea seems to be taking a look at having a good share of the cake during their investor day they did mention a few things and of course they demoed something that i think if this becomes true a lot of games that we will be playing moving forward might just be AI generated. And this shouldn't come as a surprise as sometime in May, the CEO, Andrew Wilson, did mention that he's very optimistic that generative artificial intelligence could help the company reach the holy grail of game development. And with all of this update, this simply means that more layoff might be coming soon. So initially, we used to think about AI as just image generation, then it became sound, and over time we did see AI generate so many other things from video, and the video generation is getting better. Of course, we've seen some AI generated 3D related stuff. Those look cool. Adobe just did mention about Firefly video. That wasn't a problem. It looks pretty cool. I mean, you've got your video and then AI is just simply fitting in the gap. And of course, there is this conversation about Lionsgate and Runway having an AI deal. It is a pretty interesting one and possibly we'll start seeing some AI generated effects in upcoming movies. Although Lionsgate has been pretty reluctant to disclose why they are even doing this in the first place, except the fact that the Lionsgate vice chair Michael Burns did mention that Runway will help us utilize AI to develop cutting edge capital efficient content creation opportunities, which perhaps might simply translate to them training tons and tons of movies on AI and simply using AI on various stuff and i would guess that most of the things that they might want to use ai to augment on might include vfx stuff camera stuff and all of that however a lot of people do not like to get things associated with ai due to its initial run and infringements and that is what we've seen videos for but with ea this is full game stuff I initially had the notion that AI was just gonna be, you know, generating flat stuff. If it's gonna do 3D, it probably wouldn't do it as good as you expect it to be. And even if it was going to do it as good as you expect it to be, not animated characters. And if it's gonna do animated characters, not characters with script, and if it's gonna do animated characters with script, then it can build a full game that is 3D with cameras, scoreboards, you know, all of that stuff. But was I wrong? Yes. And EA has just proven that to be true, as they've just recently unveiled and demoed a sandbox tool that will change how EA may potentially start creating games moving forward. And if this becomes public, then creating games will simply be a prompt away. The Electronic Arts is now using AI to completely transform how user-generated content will be seen and actually engaged with. And so, this is currently referred to as User-Generated Experiences UGX. So, you can now prompt things into existence just like you could do with images before. You can have a simple sandbox, an open scene, prompt a game, the kind of game you want, make it more epic if you want, and then you can start prompting characters. Good old lord, I thought these characters was just going to be, you know, simple T-poses characters that you move around your scene. No. You prompt characters that you can weaponize and you can put them in games, switch whatever person users you want, first person, third person, doesn't matter, you can prompt that in, throw in multiple characters and you can allow them challenge each other. Like you can literally have your character, put the mechanics of how you want these things to be and that's it. The simple idea of being able to do all of this has definitely come to a point where in time to come, most maps that you will engage with when playing games will no longer be hard, well thought out maps. It could just be one extra level map for you to keep playing. And I think just like every other AI stuff we previously talked about that eventually made it here, 
this looks like something that is coming. There is literally no company that has actually picked up AI and dropped it. They either just simply modify it, say they're making it ethical and all that. But at the end of the day, we end up seeing it. This looks like something that is coming. However, this will be based off AAA games. So which means that you cannot just prompt things out of thin air. It has to be based off a AAA game. So possibly a genre or a set of games. This is going to be based off those ones. And I kind of think that when they talk about training data that is where they are coming from another thing that was mentioned there is this might also be beyond ea probably games from different partners that is something that is totally up for debate and there are conversations where this has been said that it looks more like uefn which is unreal engine's editor for fortnite but i kind of beg to differ because for that one you can literally start building your assets yourself you know you can also work with assets that currently exist and more so you can program with it so it's got like lots of things that you can do it's basically unreal engine only for fortnite and what the folks at ea are actually pitching is you just prompting stuff based off existing games so i want you guys to think about it from the point that you already got fortnite and then you can prompt a new map from fortnite prompt in some characters tweak those characters no code required no additional creative thing required other than prompting and like they mentioned it is a sandbox it could be a concept box or something greater and something else that they did mention is these might end up you know over time topping a chat on a particular kind of board maybe a game board or something which also brings to the point that most probably games might be generated with this and most probably games might be built with this over time and if companies like microsoft and every other company hop on something like this then we might end up getting more ai games or even more ai maps than we have right now and that in turn would cause for more job losses as this is already going towards that part so this is it ea is building an ai sandbox which potentially would be an ai driven development tool as they're also looking at the potentials of generative artificial intelligence in revolutionizing the entire gaming industry and like we mentioned in the previous video they're also looking at how this will tailor experiences when you're playing your games as well and this comes as no surprise as there's already a massive layoff from ea and again their ceo is kind of considering AI as being the holy grail, which carries a lot of weight and EA seems to be going towards that path. I do feel a bit sad for those working in the game industry and if this eventually makes it over to so many other tools, then we potentially have a problem as creatives. Of course, there are various situations where AI would definitely come in very handy, but once this becomes that engine that simply chugs out tons and tons of things based off lots of existing works, then it might become a problem. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.